Hey everybody, hey, it's a big day here at Junk Removal Authority. It's a big week, huge week, as we have announced JunkCon 2022, October 12th through 14th. Uh, this is going to be an absolutely amazing event. We're taking a big risk and making some huge investments to give the junk removal community and industry a conference like they like has never been done before. Definitely in the junk removal industry, but this is going to be just an amazing conference uh, for any industry. Other industries will look at this and be like, wow, this was really, 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 really good. I'm not going to say it's going to be the best ever out of any industry, but it's going to be extremely good for the size that's coming in. And not even just for the size, for the people that are here. We're going to put on an amazing event. We can't wait to have everybody in the junk removal industry there October 12th through 14th. So big news for us this week. Uh, Elon Musk has got even bigger news uh, in purchasing Twitter for $44 billion. So even the richest man in the world, that $44 billion is a massive number. It, it's what, one quarter of his net worth? So uh, it's, still a, it's still a massive, massive number. And I realize he's bringing investors and all that other kind of stuff, I'm sure. But uh, it's just a just a huge uh, a huge accomplishment, a huge risk that he's taking. We really look at JunkCon as much the same type of deal in a way. We've gone out, you know, last year when we put on that event. It was just for Jerry clients. It was put together in two and a half months. It was at some little facility that I think cost us twenty five hundred bucks, maybe three grand for a day. I think it was twenty five hundred bucks for a day. Um, it, it worked well. It was it was really not it, for what it was. It was a great facility to be of available in such a short period. It was kind of a cheap wedding venue, really, but we made it into what was a really nice conference. Everybody enjoyed it. Looking forward to seeing everybody get back. So after we did a great job with JunkCon 21, we said uh, immediately after, we got to start playing JunkCon 22. And it's got to be available to everybody. Not Jerry clients, not Jerry clients. Every single person that is either in the junk removal industry, whether they're an independent operator, maybe they even own a franchise, Anybody that owns a junk removal business, uh, we want to create an event that they're, no matter their size, no matter from the guy that's not even open all the way to the guy that's $15 million a year, we want them to be able to come here and learn something, be motivated by something, network with other individuals, which will also learn something, and just bring up the entire industry. The only way for us to do that was to commit to doing it right from the start before having ever even sold one ticket. We said, we're going to put this on and it's going to be at a great venue. We went out, we went to the Raleigh Convention Center, downtown Raleigh, North Carolina, 40,000 square feet. That's almost one acre. It's actually over 40,000 square feet, just shy of one acre of exhibit hall space. Plus six breakout classrooms where we can allow people to choose a schedule, to choose topics and presenters that they want to hear from and they want to learn about. So we've got this awesome facility. Uh, the facility's 10 or 12 years old, maybe, maybe 15 years old. Uh, they've kept it updated. It's very, very, very nice, super nice, massive ceilings in the exhibit hall, probably 40 foot ceilings in the exhibit hall. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in a big stage, a huge stage, I can't remember how large it is. I think it's 60 foot, 40 foot, 60 foot, something like that. It's a really, really large stage, TV screens. It's going to be recorded. We're going to have, uh, we, we've already committed to a, a big audio visual contract. So uh, the AV is is nuts on this. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's, 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 it's a high figure. Um, it seems like it's somewhere 30 grand or something like that. Maybe it might have been 40 grand. It might have been 40 grand for the audio visual. Then we had the fee to rent the facility. And um, on top of that, we're working on, you know, we're putting all the speakers together and we've got exhibitors and vendors. So that's a lot of time. So we have one person whose full time job is putting together Junk Con, and we have two other people who's about 30% of their time is putting on Junk Con. So all this effort. All this investment over this, over just this, this, this one year, it's like a 10 months of preparation for this one event. We had to make that commitment before we even sold one ticket. We set a goal. We said we want to have everybody in the industry here. And is everybody going to come? No, some people are going to miss out. Some people are going to choose not to invest in themselves, invest in their business, and not to take the time to come down here. And they're going to think, 
I know everything there is to know about the junk removal business or what am I going to learn from those guys? Or I'm going to come down there and it's going to be, I'm going to throw my money away. It's going to be no good. It's just going to be a flake event or whatever. That's what they're going to kind of tell themselves. It's not everybody's going to come, but we want the majority of people in the junk removal industry here in October. The only way for us to make that happen is for us to make the commitment to doing it right. So we went out and we committed the 40,000 or 50,000 for the AV. We committed the 20,000, 25,000 for the convention center. We committed to have what amounts to about two full-time resources, plus my time, I don't even count my time, my time on, on planning and putting together junk con and talking to sponsors and talking to exhibitors and going live on shows. And th then what we brought in is we're bringing in other influencers. Not gonna release all the names yet, but today, just today, Ricardo from DFW Junk Guys hopped on his channel he absolutely killed it, smoked it. What a guy. What an amazing guy. The OG of YouTube channels. Been making YouTube videos longer than anybody. Uh, what's he been making now? 10 years? 11 years? 8 years? Something like that. It's a long time. I remember when we started the Jerry YouTube channel back in 2018. I think he was at 3,000, 4,000 subscribers. There was one other guy that had a similar number of subscribers that's no longer making YouTube videos for junk removal. And then we got started. I think Ricardo's about 10,000 subscribers now. Another channel came in and they're like at almost 20,000 subscribers. But uh, the, the, we've got the big names. All the big names are going to be uh, at JunkCon 2022. We're partnering anybody that's anybody in junk removal, anybody that's got a YouTube channel. We're going to be working with them on uh, making sure they've got a presence here. So it's going to be time for you to, for, all, for anybody any of these guys you've listened to, whether it's me or Ricardo or whoever else, uh, it's going to be an opportunity for you to meet them in person and you to talk with them directly. They've been so informative and educational to help us grow our businesses. Now it's our chance we can actually interact with them. And treat your business, you need to think about the same, much the same way. If you want to build up a multi-truck operation, if you want to build up a tr an operation that has multiple services, if you want to be in multiple markets, you can't wait around for that stuff to happen. You've got to make a certain level of commitment to saying, you know what, we're going to do this. If you're going to build up a 10-truck operation and you're getting ready to start your business, make a commitment, go out and buy two trucks. Uh, you're not going to be satisfied if this, if this thing only gets to one or two trucks total. You're not going to be satisfied. So why wait around? Why, why waste the time on, on holding back? go big, take a risk. What you're going to find is you take that risk, you make that commitment, and you're going to make damn sure that you fill up those trucks, that you have to get the people, that you're going to keep the people you hire busy. You're going to find a way to make that work because you know the alternative is you're going to lose a bunch of money. We're approaching Junk Con much the same way. We're approaching Junk Con from the aspect of we're going to spend the money and we're going to make sure that we build up a conference that it's so abundantly clear it's going to be amazing value that there's going to be high-powered individuals there, both within as well as outside of the junk removal industry, that somebody's going to come and they're going to spend $4.95 on a ticket. And they're going to show up and they're going to leave armed with the knowledge to take that $4.95 they spent and make fifty grand, hundred grand off of it over the next year. That's the goal of this conference. The only way to do it was for us to commit majorly to doing it right. Anything less, any half efforts would have resulted in something that uh, would be a half ass result. And we don't want that here. We want an amazing event. So what do we have? The uh, Junk Con is all about education, motivation, and networking. And on the breakout classrooms uh, and on the main stage, between the breakout classrooms and the main stage, we're going to have people talking about uh, expansion. We've got people talking about selling your business, franchising your business, increasing the value of uh, increasing how much the number of large jobs you get, increasing the number of hoarding jobs you get, inc increasing uh, the value you get for those hoarding jobs, uh, how to get more recycling or, or resell income, how to set up recycling and resell stores. We don't do that. We're, we're bringing somebody in that, that does that. They can explain that program if you're interested in doing it on doing it yourself. Usage of vehicle telematics, driving safety programs, insurance rates are up. We're going to have a program that is, or a speaker that's going to be speaking at JunkCon 
with a program on how to reduce loss ratios so the amount of accidents you and your drivers are getting in with your junk removal business. Over the next two years, if we can significantly lower the loss ratio insurance companies are facing or and are, are, are happening, the number of accidents that are occurring, then the industry as a whole can start seeing reduced in, uh, insurance rates and maybe some other carriers that are willing to write the industry. Right now, there's only a handful of carriers willing to write the industry. So that's one of the things that's going to be covered at JunkCon. We've got uh, stuff on how to how to actually bring maximize your profits and bring out your income and how to gain market share. That's the just a few of the things. Book more jobs on the phone. How to get more for every single job that you do. Sales tactics and everything. How to train your team. Uh, that's all. That that type of stuff is going to be covered. It's just going to be an absolutely phenomenal event. It's two days in exhibit hall. A kickoff party on Wednesday night. The kickoff party you're not going to want to miss. Again, we're going big on this. Um, by the way, uh, on the kickoff party end of things, we were talking about investments and everything we we were going to make, and we said, hey, we're going to do this right. The kickoff party is the same way. Uh, it's a ninety nine dollar upgrade ticket. At the number of tickets that I anticipate selling, it's actually going to cost us $102 per person to put it on. We're only going to charge $99 extra. I said I don't want to go over $100 for that ticket because people need to be at the kickoff party because that's when you're going to get a chance to really sit down and meet hundreds of other business owners. And you're going to be amazed. You're going to come here and us just creating the venue to have other business owners gather to, to bring in hundreds of other junk removal business owners you having the chance to speak to people that are at your level, maybe above your level, maybe way above your level, maybe below your level, maybe not even open. The chance for those different categories of people to speak and with each other is going to drive benefits for everybody. The junk removal industry is still largely unknown by the general population. This type of event, this type of event, by leveling up the practices of all the industries, by all the businesses within the industry, is going to level up overall awareness for the entire industry throughout the country, and especially in your market. We're taking a huge risk putting this event on. We're confident it's going to work out. What we're very confident is the people that come are going to get an amazing result, far better than anything last year. And last year, everybody that was able to come last year, it was 130-some people that came last year, only Jerry clients. Everybody that came last year said this was amazing. We'll see you back here next year. So uh, 2022 is the year. It's the first or the, the, the second ever junk con. It's the first one open to the general public. And it's going to be an absolutely phenomenal event with exhibitors, speakers, networking, education. And we can't wait to see everybody here. We can't wait to see the impact it's going to have on hundreds of other small business owners throughout the country. So go to junkcon.com. Click on the link down in the subscription and go ahead and reserve your ticket. As of right now, we're, sh we're very close to completely selling out on the early bird special. That was limited to the first 100 tickets. And uh, with the first 100 tickets sold, you get $100 off your mission cost. So it's $395 instead of $495. Make sure you add the networking event. It's just $99 more per person. So make sure you add that networking event. It's going to be great food. Uh, uh, great drinks, uh, great band, and great fun, and a great business opportunity for you to network. So click the link, junkcon.com. It's got great information on it. More speakers will be rolled out. That's the, that's the key thing. On JunkCon, there's only a handful of speakers listed. We have verbal commitments from about a dozen speakers, vendors, exhibitors, that we're finalizing contract details on right now, and we're gonna be rolling those out in the coming months. Go to reserve your ticket, plane costs are going up, reserve your plane cost. The hotel information is on the website, and after you buy your ticket, you're gonna to wanna to reserve a hotel. The hotel is connected with the convention center. So no, no driving's needed. You'll just head right on into Raleigh uh, by Uber or rental car or whatever. I guess you could drive if you want to do by rental car. But the entire event is going to be in this little block in the middle of downtown Raleigh. Once the event's over, the reason we did it Wednesday through Friday, it's hard for business owners to take a vacation. So Wednesday through Friday, you work. You talk about great uh, uh, business things. You're going to make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars off of the Wednesday through Friday event. 
And then Saturday and Sunday, you and your wife, you and your girlfriend, you and your husband, you and your spouse, you and your, your kids and your, and your spouse, whatever. Enjoy downtown Raleigh. There's a lot to do between museums and hiking trails and whatever. Mountains. You can go visit the Biltmore House. It's just three hours away in Asheville. Uh, the, uh, the beach is only two and a half hours away. Now, it's a little cool in October for the beach maybe, but it's still like 70s as a general rule. Uh, leaves are changing. So if you go to the mountains, you got some, probably the way this is timed, the leaves will just begin to be being changed in the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. Good drive on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Turn this into an event. It's a great tax write-off. So you come down here for this vacation, uh, you know, you can write it off because uh, you're, you're, you're doing, you're doing work-related stuff. So we're taking a big risk. We're asking you to invest or encouraging you to invest a little bit of time, a little bit of money into getting to Raleigh October 12th through 14th because I'm going to personally guarantee it, you're going to leave saying, I can't, one, I can't wait to get back next year. But two, I have a list of a handful of things that I'm going to immediately implement. And you're probably going to leave with a list of 20. I want you to pick two or three, two or three things you immediately implement in your business, at least one, but probably two or three, you immediately implement and be amazed at how your business is going to transform, your life is going to improve. And that risk that we took and that very small risk that you might think you're taking is going to uh, pay off handsomely for you. And, we'll, and you're going to be back uh, for Junk Con 23 uh, next year. So, guys, if you got any questions, uh, comment. Head over to JunkCon.com and uh, get signed up. Early bird special. We have a handful of tickets left for $100 off. Buy them up now uh, to save that $100. And we're going to look forward to seeing you in Raleigh, North Carolina for Junk Con 2022, October 12th through 14th. See everybody soon.